international publications look for expert beauty advice, they turn to Dr. Francis Palmer. This world-renowned Beverly Hills plastic surgeon and creator of the skin care line Francis R. Beverly Hills has taken his 15 years of experience and created the Palmer Beauty Principles. When not working on the most beautiful faces in Hollywood, Dr. Palmer has performed pro bono surgeries for women scarred by domestic abuse. A recent case was chronicled on the Montel Williams show. Look at this. You're scrubbing in. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sis, I'm ready. <laughs> well, I'm we'll ready. see if you are. Because <laughs> I told you, if you get woozy, I'm just going to push you off the side and finish my job. <laughs> That's not happening. 10T later. There is no woozy. You know, he wants to do this, so he gets a scalpel. He gets this scalpel. Mm -hmm. If you notice, there's nothing sharp on it. <laughs> so he gets a scalpel with training wheels until he shows me that he can use one with real blade. This shall be my scalpel yeah, for you the go. entire... That's yours. I can put a chair back there, yeah, too. Yeah, you know what? Let me nab a chair. Well, please welcome Beverly Hills aesthetic plastic surgeon, Dr. Francis Palmer, to the show. Welcome in. She looks fantastic. Yes, she I mean, does. You run a successful business in Beverly Hills. This is not something that we would think that a Beverly Hills doctor would volunteer to do. How did you get involved with face to face? You know what? It's it's just one of those things where you got to give back something. Mm -hmm. You know, we all look for ways to give back. You do your way, I do my way. I needed to do it for her. I'm going to take my beauty principles that I've been practicing and preaching for 15 years and I'm going to put them on this face so that when she looks in the mirror she says, hey, you know what, I'm worth it, I look good. The moon some donations. And this is got something mm -hmm. Because, you know, I know you said you wouldn't get woozy, but you did. I did. <laughs> and he's pretty good protege, so what I do is I have a little plaque here with your blade on your scalpel <laughs> and it says to Montel Williams surgeon in training because I think you did a good job. Thank you, sir. Dr. Palmer believes in creating beauty in a natural manner and suggests starting with less invasive methods first. With the combination of his skin care line, ultrasonic facials, intense pulse light treatments, Botox, and Restylane injections, he's able to successfully turn back the clock on his many patients. Skin is a very important part of what you look like. And so I came up with the perfect skin system. Three steps. Step one, to prepare and get the skin ready. So all you're going to do is you're going to get everything off your skin and get it ready. Step two is rejuvenate the skin. And those are powerful anti-aging and skin rejuvenating ingredients. And then at the end, you have to protect against sun damage. That's step three is to seal and protect. Follow these three steps and you will have beautiful skin. Along with his line of cosmeceutical skin care, his television appearances and personal interviews, Dr. Palmer has become the spokesperson and pioneer of Palmer's Beauty Principles, a formula for natural, youthful beauty. What is it that makes someone attractive? It's not esoteric. It's not in the eye of the beholder. It has to be reproducible. So 15 years ago, I sat down and I decided, I'm going to figure out what makes people beautiful. I want to figure out what makes someone look like a woman and what someone looks like a man and I want to be able to recreate it and that's what makes me a good plastic surgeon. For me as a, as a plastic surgeon, I use it as a formula, an individual formula to unlock your hidden natural beauty. That's why I think everyone needs to know the Palmer Beauty Principles, not because I believe everybody needs surgery, but I think everybody has the right to understand what makes them attractive. Dr. Palmer believes looking your best is your God-given right, and he is here to help you achieve that goal. His first book entitled The Outer You will be out later this year.